what's up YouTube I'm coming at you with another video so I wanted to film my hair story as you can see in the title you're probably thinking your hair story what's so interesting about your hair it's literally just hair well I've dyed it and I kind of want to explain the process now I don't have the hair extensions in today because I've been laying down and in and out of sleep, so I decided not to. But that's okay. Anyway, so I've been wanting to dye my hair again for a while, and I want to do some crazy colors, so I was like, I don't know if I'm really going to like it, I don't know if work's going to be okay with it, I don't know if... You know, I'm going to be willing to upkeep it. So I decided to go the safer route and do a hair extensions. So I went on Amazon and typed in human hair extensions. And I got a brand of Remini hair extensions. They are 10 inches, 70 grams. I don't know what company it came from because I lost the packaging. And I can't find it. All right lost packaging somewhere in my house and I can't find it which is fine but I do have the hair dye still so yeah so first I dyed my hair black I just bought box dye I know that's really bad but it didn't damage my hair at all so I just first dyed it black and then I left it for a couple days before I did the hair dye and also I kind of needed the hair extensions first so I went to Target and I purchased three out of the four colors and I wanted to go for a mermaid hair kind of thing because I'm really big in the whole mermaid colors and these are darker mermaid colors so it's still really pretty and I had one of the hair dyes originally so I didn't have to go buy a new one but the other three I did and I'm super impressed with these so I bought the L'Oreal Colorista semi permanent color. This one says it's for bleached, light blonde, or highlighted hair, which I have. My extensions were bleached blonde. So I got Aqua, and I was super impressed with this kit because it came with a color tube, it came with gloves, instruction sheets, and an expert brush. The brush is just those dyeing brushes you see when you go get your hair dyed at the salon. I don't have them up here, they're downstairs in the basement because I was dyeing my hair down there. But look how big this tube is. It's literally as big as my head. So it just says shampoo and dry hair fully, using gloves, apply product onto desired areas, avoiding the scalp, saturate hair, leave for 15 to 30 minutes and rinse thoroughly with water. What was really interesting is when I washed the extensions after the hair dye, I didn't really see any, like, color runoff. So I'm going to be rewashing them and conditioning them this time to see because you're supposed to wash them every so often. And then I got purple. And... Oh, that's interesting. It says it can cause an allergic reaction right there. But this purple is super pretty. It's like, cause I have, they were kind of light blonde. Um, it turned out to that color. So I'll show you. So the aqua was turned out like this. It's more of a sky blue. Which is super pretty. Everyone loves that color. This is the teal. Eh, sorry, I have the extensions behind. Or not the teal, the purple. And it's a lavender. It kind of reminds me of Nymphadora Tonks from Harry Potter. But I'm super impressed. And they're kind of, they're easy to put in and out. The only thing they say is don't sleep in them. Not, which I never plan on doing. And then last but not least is teal. And what's really interesting with this one is it said it's use. It's recommended for dark 
brown, the light brown hair, which I thought was really interesting. And you can actually see it on the darker hair. But this is what it turned out. This is the color it turned out on my hair. It looks more of like a green. It pulls more green than blue. But this one kind of dried funny. That's why it looks so weird. And then last but not least is the Jerome Russell Punky Colors. Um... It's flamingo pink. This one, this hair dye actually smells like pop, like pop, like grape soda. But it turned out so pretty. I mean, look how gorgeous this color is. I cannot get over how beautiful that color is. I am so impressed with it. Sorry, my Fitbit is itchy. So this is, I just got this Fitbit yesterday. And I've been in love with it. But yeah. That's my hair dyeing story. I know it's nothing fancy. I I really love them. They're fun. They're different. Everybody loves them. Everybody compliments me on them. They're like, well, you should do it permanently. And I'm like, okay, I will. So yeah. But they're not permanent. So... I may do them permanent down the road. I don't know yet. But we'll see. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm going to be uploading a special Christmas video tomorrow. So keep watching. Bye.